Welcome to another episode of Mansplaining and Eggplant Jokes with your boy Patty. Yo, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. In today's video, we are doing a final review on my Envy 5.6 SES wheel set. Oh, and by the way, this video is sponsored by The Pros Closet. They've been amazing to work with, and I will have a code for all you guys down below to receive free shipping on all of your purchases from The Pros Closet. And last but not least, if you are new to my channel, my name is Patrick Lino, and I am a cyclist here in Chicago who does bike reviews, I build bikes, and if you have been enjoying all of the videos videos on my channel as of recently, then I want you to go out on your next bike ride. I want you to blow through all the red lights. I want you to blow through all the stop signs. And when the police give you a ticket, you just tell them that Patty made you do it because this really does help support my channel. So without further ado, let's continue. First things first, I absolutely love these wheels. In fact, if I had the money or budget to buy these for my own, I definitely would buy these as my everyday wheel set. They're super compliant, they're stiff, they're really fast, and I think they're a good depth for every everyday wheels but this does bring me to my first topic here which is about price so obviously these wheels are expensive but you have to understand that these wheels are top of the line premium american built wheels here in the states american in-house hubs as well so these are the top of the line sort of wheels now do i think that these wheels are twice the price of wheels that cost less than these of course not but think about it this way if you're a customer out there or if you're shopping around for wheels and you do have the budget for a wheel such as these then let's be honest you probably are not cross shopping a pair of NVs or zips with some other brand out there that costs half the price that's just how it goes it's no different than if you have the budget to buy a Mercedes and you really want a Mercedes right and those say they cost 80 grand you're probably not gonna cross shop that with uh, a car that costs like twenty five thousand dollars now again I'm not saying that you are getting twice the performance and value from these versus a wheel that costs half the price but the reality is if you have the budget for these and you really want these you are not going to be cross shopping these with something less than that oh man I'm gonna be sad to see these wheels go but you know gotta keep it pushing gotta keep it moving forward and hopefully uh, I can get some new wheels from the pros closet. It's gonna be interesting to see what I select next guys So tell me in the comments down below what you think I should go for next Do you guys want me to go for some super lightweight climbing wheels if they have them? Do you want me to get some sort of super deep dish 80 or 88 millimeter depth wheels? Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think so guys, the point of this review overall, um, it's not coming from the perspective of someone who's an engineer because I'm not an engineer. I'm not someone in aerodynamics. I'm not a cat one crit racer or anything like that. I'm barely even a contributing member of society. So the idea of this is just to give you a real world idea of what these wheels are like from sort of a typical uh, cyclist who does use their bike a lot. Um, but yeah, let's talk about ride quality in general. So the ride quality on these are, um, the wheels are stiff, but they are very very compliant um, and it's probably due to the spoke design maybe the hubs I'm not sure but yeah the ride is stiff but it's very very compliant um, now I do like my bikes on the stiffer side which is why I had my LA Sprint um, and I rode that over like uh, 10,000 kilometers or so um, but yeah the wheels very very um, good quality as far as the ride goes um, another thing being that today is extremely windy which is why I can't record while I'm on my bike um, the wheels do pretty good in crosswinds. In my previous video, I did mention that um, they felt kind of twitchy because of the crosswinds, but that was on the extreme side of things. Um, I think during that video, the winds were like 25, 30 miles per hour. And today the winds are more like 15 or so. And so yeah, it's very, very manageable guys. And you do have to expect there to be a little bit of twitchiness when you're dealing with wheels at a larger depth. But overall guys, yeah, the ride quality is really good, compliant and stiff. Another thing I wanted to talk about um, are the hubs now I believe uh, the current version of the hubs that Envy is using is their own in-house design but I've grown to really really like these hubs a lot um, in fact I love the sound of them they sort of have this sort of deeper sort of tone to them they're not super annoying when you're out on the bike path you're not gonna disrupt uh, anyone out there just trying to have a peaceful time on the bike path uh, but yeah they're very responsive um, and I really do like the hubs um, and I've, I've grown to them to be one of my favorite hubs that I've used uh, so far uh, on the wheel market today and look at that I finally added some uh, Kogo bearings uh, oversized pulley wheels yes these are probably marginal gains and who knows if they actually are saving watts of course I got the baller oil slick chain on this as well um, 
a pro tip that I learned very recently. Um, so my favorite lube on the market is Squirt Lube. Um, but um, yes, it is quiet um, at first, but I've noticed that maybe after about, I don't know, 50, 60, even 70 miles that the chain gets really loud. And I realized that I was applying the lube incorrectly. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to heat up the Squirt Lube, maybe it's about 70 or 80 degrees to the point that when you go to apply it, you don't even have to squeeze the bottle. You basically just turn it upside down and the, uh, the square wax will just come dripping right out. And what that does is with the wax being super duper hot, it's going to get into all of the rollers inside of the chain because that's where the majority of the friction is coming from. So if you have a problem with your square wax being too loud, you need to heat it up first before you apply it and it's going to do wonders. It's absolutely like night and day with how well, uh, how slick and how quiet the chain is. And I, I think it definitely makes a big difference. All right guys, so what that is in the distance, that is the famous Navy Pier here in downtown Chicago. I used to come here as a kid a lot. Um, yeah, it's probably like, I don't know, 10 bucks to hop on that, but the Ferris wheel is huge. It takes like, I don't know, it probably takes like 20 minutes to make one single revolution, which is pretty cool. So yeah, if you wanna come to Chicago and uh, bring your girl or your guy here for a date, it's definitely a lot of fun. Uh, this building right here, uh, it's a pretty funny story. So uh, this is the farthest building out closest to the lake that you have um, here in Chicago. Now the rumor was, since I was a kid, and we're talking like early 90s, but the rumor was that Oprah Winfrey lived in this building. Um, I don't know how nice the uh, condos are in this building, but I highly doubt she actually lived in that building. But if, uh, if any of you guys know out there whether or not she lived there, please let me know in the comments down below. So who do I think these wheels are for? I think these wheels are definitely for someone that does a lot of races competitively. So if you are someone that does that a lot, whether you're doing crit races, road races, etc., these wheels are definitely for you. They're very much a top-end race focused wheel um, but like I said before if you do have the budget for wheels like these regardless of what your budget is then I would definitely say go for it now, we are talking about marginal gains at the end of the day however if you look at uh, the cat one races uh, here in the States you're going to see the majority of people out there using these higher end wheels now that could be because maybe they are sponsored and they're getting the wheels for free I don't know maybe because we still need to sort of raise awareness of some of the other brands out there that offer um, a really good value proposition but at the end of the day these wheels are for racing and that's definitely who they are for so that may not be for you but if you are someone that races and you have the budget for these absolutely go for these and i like i said i would definitely want to pair for myself now the kit today guys is of course as you can see is courtesy of montan sports i definitely love what they do and yeah i do like all of the crazy colors that they have on their website Final thoughts on these NV SES 5.6 wheels. So now that I've gotten a chance about four or five weeks to really put these wheels through their paces, I have to say that they perform marvelously. In fact, they dramatically changed the way I feel about the performance of my Dangfu R12 frame set. Now stay tuned because I will have a separate review on the uh, Dangfu R12 frame set in a later video. But yeah, these wheels definitely change the overall characteristics of this bike. And I think the wheels are just a testament to how important it is to have a quality set of wheels for your bike because it can dramatically change the characteristics and the performance of your bike. Now with the wheels themselves, now this is going to be a little bit difficult and some of the viewers out there, you might be disappointed in what I have to say. Now for the money, being that they are expensive, if I had the money and the budget for these wheels, these are probably the wheels that I would go with. I mean, you're getting everything at sort of this pinnacle performance, right? You're getting a top quality hub that is built in house by Envy. You're getting a very stiff but compliant wheel all the things that you would want um, for a race focused wheel out there. Now, even though the ride is a little bit stiff, it's still compliant. And this is exactly what you want when you are out there racing competitively. So with that being said, what this means is that this wheel may not be for everybody out there, regardless of whether or not you have the money for them. Now, I know you guys want me to compare this wheel set to something like a Windspace Hyper 65 or like a Hyper 50, and I'll just leave it at this. Both wheels are good for what they are, and they both propose a value within themselves. But the reality is, if you have the money or the budget to afford a set of Envy wheels like these, I assure you, you probably are not cross shopping these wheels with a set of Windspace wheels. Now, 
are these wheels twice the value or twice the performance of a Windspace Hyper? No, absolutely not. Of course, we're talking about marginal gains. Both of those wheels are in the category of themselves, and these are the wheels that you typically will see in sort of the higher end categories as far as crit racing. But overall, guys, I absolutely love these wheels. Um, I'm sad to see them go, and I'm looking forward to getting my next set of wheels from the Pro's Closet. So I'm gonna leave it at that, guys, for now. But as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. And I'm gonna check you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.